Hey all my Lushies and welcome back. This video scent is Celebrate. So this bottle looks a little bit different. This is actually one of the old school Lushy bottles that I have. I love it. I don't use it often because I just love the bottle. Anyway, so as you already saw by the title's description, it is our January Lush subscription box. It actually came a lot faster than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be maybe another more week or it's gonna come into like February, but hey, not complaining. I think the mail is actually catching up to everything, which is really great. So let's open it up. I don't think they could find a more annoying way to get into these things, but. Mm. Ooh, and there it is, 2021. All right, I am super excited about this one. I think there's a few products in here that I've never actually tried from what I've seen in spoilers. So let's see, oh yeah, oh. Mm, and one that I'm super excited about. Oh, so we got some stickers, which I have a bunch of like Lush stickers that I've never actually used because I just can't find something that I want to put it on that I don't mind using these up. So we'll find out, but nice little cute ones. So I have the menu here. One of the items I'm definitely excited about, it's what I voted for. There's a few other products that I think I'm actually gonna give away. Actually one I already know that I'm gonna give away because I've already told the person I was giving away to them. First up, oh, is exactly that. We have the Karma Shower Gel. I actually thought this was coming in the 250 bottle. It's only came in the 100 grams, which is fine. Either way, Sam, I think you'll still appreciate having a fresh bottle. Karma being one of the original Lush scent families, which I feel like they don't appreciate or don't like as much as they have as things are moving towards more like lavender, citrus, even comforter they're using a lot more than they did before. Karma is still an amazing scent. You can still get the soap in store. I think there's still the Karma cream that you can get. Is that? Oh, I don't know. But there is, I believe, the perfume you can get. It would just be nice if they realized that people don't always want to have lavender citrus. Like we want a little bit more like spicier scents. This one still has bergamot in it. You can still put orange in it, but let's just give us that more like patchouli. But like I said, this one is going to go to a friend, which I'm very glad to give it to them. Next up, Mrs. Whippy Bath Bomb. So I've actually never had this before. This smells to me very similar to Candy Rain. Is that what it actually is supposed to be mimicked after? I always thought this one was supposed to be a little bit more like strawberry floral, but yeah, I'm getting more Candy Rain. That's interesting. So in the box they gave you do have a little description on the ingredients, which is good. So according to this, it does have almond essential oil, which I don't believe the original one ever did. Yeah, like it was supposed to be closer to like the strawberry fields forever, yummy mummy, and more closer to that than this one. I'm curious to see if the Mrs. Whippy bubble bar that they came out with, if it is shares a sense with this one, or if it's more of like the classic floral strawberry one. I have that one coming, so we'll find out soon. I'm on the fence with this one. I don't really care for a lot of almond scent, but I do really like the candy rain scent. This one may be gifted to Lush Mom because she really does love her almond scents. And I mean, she does like pink, so I think this is one's going to hurt. Fairly cute. If you like almond scents, definitely one that you would have appreciated. Okay, next up we have the Heavenly Bodies Buttercream. Again, this is one that I never have tried before. Never really had any inkling to have it when it originally came out of the kitchen. So let's take a sniff of it. It's definitely a thicker body cream. You use it fairly similar like you do to like a body conditioner. I'm surprised they haven't actually done more of the butter creams opposed to all of like the body conditioners that they're doing, but say la vie, you can see a little thicker. It's a little bit more chocolatey than I thought it would be really smelling. I'm not sure about the scent. It's nice. For the first ingredient in being orange blossom fusion, I don't really smell that too much. Like I get a little bit more of like the cocoa and the vanilla that's in here. It's not an overpowering one. It's still kind of nice. It's, it still gives you a nice warm, like creamy feeling. I think I would actually use this more as like a body lotion because it still would leave my skin really nice and hydrated. So I do appreciate it came in like the smaller pot because like the bigger one, I, again, lotions take me forever to use up. So I'm gonna enjoy using that one. All right, two products left, which, oh, we've got the shampoo bar. So this one is the squeaky green shampoo bar. You know me, I love my shampoo bars. It's a really nice green earthy scent. So as you can see, it has a little wooden stick in it, very similar to what the new shampoo bar has. And from what I've seen online, this little wooden stick actually has a different saying on the back. So mine has fresh hair, fresh start. Ooh, I'm gonna look forward to using this. I think this is gonna be a really good cleansing one. So when I need a deep, good cleanse of my hair, 
this is definitely one to go to. Probably not one I would want to use all the time because it could be a little bit stripping on my hair that is thin and dry. But if you had oily hair, this would probably be a nicer one. I'm just really excited to have more shampoo bars. Not like I need more shampoo bars. You guys have seen how many I have. I've got a crap load. But to try one that I've never had before, that's always good. And the very last product that's in here is the one that I voted for that I'm so excited about, the Violet Nights Bath Oil. I am so excited to have a fresh bottle of this one. Oh, it smells like Parma Violet Heaven. So in store when they had the solid bath melts, well, they used to, I think they're being all formatted or what's actually happening with them, who knows? A long time ago, they did have a couple of bottled bath oils. So there are liquid ones that you would just pour into the bath just to make it really nice and hydrating. This one smells amazing. I love anything violet leaf scented. I do have a 250 ml bottle downstairs. I'm gonna hold on to this one, use that one up, and I'll have my nice little fresh one. As much as I would have loved to have a 250 milliliter bottle of this, I'm kind of glad that it only came in the smaller one. Again, because I have so much to use up. If you probably had a smaller collection, you would want like a bigger bottle, which I totally understand. For me, I'm glad that this will make me either use it faster, not feel so bad that I'm not using it up as much. I'm just really glad to have a fresh one and I'm so glad that it does smell just how I want it to. And there we have it. So that is our January 2021 Lush Kitchen subscription box. I'm pretty happy with everything even though I think there's two products, the Mrs. Whippy and the Karma that I'm gonna be giving away. That's still three products that I'm really gonna enjoy. Super happy about the Violet Nights. Always love shampoo bars. I'm gonna use a buttercream more as like a lotion just when I really need that hydration. Oh, and don't forget the extra stickers that we got. So in this box, we got about five, and I'd say a half products in it, which is pretty decent. I will say this box, well, nice, to start off the year in 2021 after the like dumpster fire that we've had of 2020, I would have preferred it if it had a little bit more bang to it. If it was more of like a real banger of a box. Like I really wanted something that was just like blew us away. Those kind of boxes are to come. I know they probably would have had restrictions on staff and what they actually could. So I do get that. But it would have just been nice to like start the year off on a really good bang of a note. Did you actually pick up one of these boxes? What are your thoughts on it? What were the products that you were super excited to have. Did you vote for anything that actually got into this box? Let me know below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Anyway, guys, that is all for me today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. You're staying safe. You're staying healthy. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys all on the next one. Okay. Love you. Bye. Mwah.